Question number nine taken from June 2014, HSC Advanced Level Maths B3. The diagram shows the curve y is equal to e to the power of 2 sine x times cos x for 0 is less or equal to x less or equal to pi upon 2 and its maximum point m. First part, using the substitution u is equal to sine x, find the exact value of the shaded area of the area of the shaded region bounded by the curve and the axis. And for the second part, find the x coordinates the x coordinate of m, giving your answer correct to three decimal places. Okay. So first part of question number nine, the uh, equation of the curve is given as y is equal to e to the 2 sine x times cos of x. And this is for 0 less or equal to x less or equal to half pi. Now, to be able to find the area, um, and we have to use substitution um, u is equal to sine x. Now, if that is the case, then we can differentiate u. So we're going to have du by dx, which is then is equal to cos of x. The second thing that we need to find out is um, what would be the new limit. But before you you um, go any further, in order to be able to find the area, um, we have to integrate. So we know that area is equal to integration of y dx. In other words, we have integration of e to the 2 sine x cos of x dx. Right, and the limits are 0 up to pi upon 2. Now, we have to find the new limits and then we use the substitution. Okay, so what is the new limits then? We know that u is equal to sine of x. In other words, we can say u is equal to sine of 0. That would be the first limit. And the sine of 0 is 0. And then you have u is equal to sine of um, pi upon 2. And sine of pi upon 2, if you look that up from a calculator, you're going to see it is going to be 1. Hence, what can we do now? We can say that the area is going to be integration, the integral of the limits would be from 0 to 1 this time. Okay, e to the 2 sine of x times cos of x times dx. Now, what is dx? Okay, we know that du upon dx is equal to cos x. In other words, we can say that dx upon du is equal to 1 upon cos x. So, take all of that, multiply by 1 upon cos of x. So this goes out, and you're left with this. Now, what do you do to integrate this? So, it is 1, 0 again for the limits, e to the power of 2 sine x, and we know that sine x is equal to u, so e to the 2u. Integrating this, um, you're going to get the 2 goes down, so that becomes half, all right, and then e to the tu, e to the to the power of t to the power of 2u remains the same, and then you put the limits, and the limits are 1 0. Now, if you substitute zero, 1 in here, you're going to end up with half e to the power of 2 times u, 2 times 1, which is 2. All right, so e to the square. All right, and then you minus half e to the power of 2u, and this time u is equal to 0. So 2 times 0 is 0. And what is that then? It's going to give me half e to the square minus e to the power of 0 is equal to 1. So that is 1. Therefore, um, 1 times half is half. So half is common. You can put the half outside and then inside you have e square minus 1. So this will be the exact value of the area of the shaded region. And here you, here you are for, this, for the first part of the question. 
Now for the second part, we have to find the x coordinate of m, giving the answer correct to three decimal places. Remember, m is the maximum point, therefore we need to differentiate. And then we say dy by dx is equal to zero because this is uh, a stationary point, isn't it? Now, so how are we going to do this? And all right, so first of all, y is equal to e to the two sine x times cos of x. We can say let u is equal to e to the power of two sine x, and then v is equal to cos of x. There, this is a we have two variables here, so these, this is a product rule. Therefore, we're going to differentiate this one first. du by dx is equal to, if you differentiate this, you're going to end up with 2 e to the power of, uh, so what is it, 2 e to the power of um, sine x. 2 sine x, isn't it? So, yeah, 2 sine of x. Okay, so if you differentiate this, you get two. If you if you differentiate two sine x, okay. If you differentiate two sine x, you're going to end up with um, what is it? Then two cos x, right? In other words, uh, so we've already put the two here. Right, so we can put just the cos of x here. Right, now differentiating cos of x, okay, you're going to get um, dv by dx, which is then negative sine of x. So, from here, we're going to do the product rule. All right, v du by dx, which is uh, this times this, so you're going to have dy by dx is equal to v du by dx which is then 2 e to the power of 2 sine x cos x times cos x is cos square x <coughs> and then plus u dv by dx e to the power of 2 sine x times this it's going to plus times minus it's going to give you minus in it so minus um, e to the power of 2 sine x um, sine x. Okay, so what do we need to do now? We can simply we can so start simplifying. So let's put this in proper order. We have two e to the power of two sine x cos square x plus minus becomes minus e to the power of two sine x sine x. Okay. So what else? Um, e to the power of 2 sine x, e to the power of 2 sine x. So this is common. All right, we can say dy by dx is equal to e to the power of 2 sine x. All right, um, factorize that. You're going, to left, you're going to be left with 2 cos square x inside minus sine x. Now we know that dy by dx is equal to 0. So we're going to say 0 is equal to e to the power of 2 sine x times 2 cos square x minus sine x. Now this goes on this side, becomes divide. Therefore 0 divided by this is going to give us 0. So 0 is going to equal to 2 cos square x minus sine x. Okay, what can you do from here? Interesting. What is... Um, what is then um, 2 cos square x? This is 2 into 1 minus sine square x minus sine x. It's equal to 0. Okay. 2 times this is going to be minus 2 sine square x. 2 times 1 is plus 2 minus sine x is equal to 0. You're going to end up with 2 sine square x plus sine x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now from here we have a quadratic equation. We can say let sine x is equal to a. So we have 2a square plus a minus 2 is equal to 0. 
using the formula okay you can use the formula x is equal to minus b plus or minus b square minus 4 is the general formula for quadratic equation over 2a so in this case we have a is equal to 2 we have b is equal to 1 and we have c is equal to minus 2 right so all of that can be substituted in that formula in this particular case because we said that this is going to be a so we're going to say a is equal to minus b what is minus b minus 1 plus or minus the root of b square 1 to the square is 1 okay minus 4ac 4 times a times c this is minus 2 so 4 times 2 times minus 2 over 2a all right uh, so 2 times 2 is 4 so a is going to be minus 1 plus or minus root of minus minus becomes plus 4 times 2 is 8 8 times 2 is 16 16 plus 1 is 17 root of 17 over 4 so a is going to be first of all mm, let's see minus 1 plus root of uh, 17 all right divided by 4 so this is 0 point zero decimal seven eight one or a is going to be you have minus one minus the root of seventeen divided by four again so this is minus one point two eight now we're not going to go far as negative because if we take negative this is going to fall in 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 uh, maybe the second quadrant or the third quadrant what I'm trying to explain here is that in the question we are told to find the values okay the value of rather the, the x coordinate um, if we uh, for m but if we solve this the, the limit no sorry the the x values will be from 0 to half pi so we're going to stick to this because this is going to give us from 0 to half pi if we go here what I mean by that is we're going to fall into a negative quadrant into a quadrant where the sign will be negative so that's going to be more than 180 degrees and we don't need more than 180 degrees because we're half pi half pi is uh, is just 90 degrees isn't it this is uh, what is pi pi is 100 and this is 90 degrees right so therefore we can confidently say that um, sine x is equal to a so therefore sine of x is equal to 0 0.781 all right so simply go on your calculator do the inverse of the sine 0 0.781 you're going to end up with 0 0.9896 therefore x coordinates of m is 0 0.896 and here we are